Did you know there's an entire province of Canada where French is the first language? Maybe and so. We're Andrew and Kate. We share travel experiences and tips to encourage you to take time off and see as much of the world as possible. In this video, we're exploring and showing you what you can do in one weekend in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Bonjour and bienvenue à Montreal, Quebec, Canada. We are spending the next 24 hours exploring the best of Montreal. We can't wait to show you how beautiful the city is in the heart of French Canada. Come with us, allons-y. After only a few moments of meandering through Old Town, we found a wonderful cafe called Tommy that we quickly fell in love with. I took a risk and ordered an iced coffee topped with Lucky Charms to see what that was about. It was interesting, as Andrew kept it classic with an Americano. The vibes of the cafe were so relaxed, homey, and welcoming, and the food was so good we wanted to come back for dinner. Double caffeinated. <laughs> We're gonna walk through Old Town to go to the Old Port. There's a lot of old things in the city as it's one of the earliest settlements in North America. This part of the city features very um, interesting art, <laughs> charming cobblestone streets, very chic yet affordable shopping, and intricate architecture. How European of Canada. It's a little bit windy. <laughs> Try to keep everything together from having a Maryland moment like I did earlier. Maybe should have rethought the outfit, but I'll always take the wind over the heat. Did you know that Montreal has its own Notre Dame? It's the Notre Dame Basilica, not the cathedral, a very similar look-alike. It's a tourist destination and active church in the middle of Old Town, Montreal. It is beautiful and at night they have Aurora, which is a light show inside the church. So for about 10 USD you can go in during the day and at night it's around $30 to go to the Aurora light up show inside the church. It is beautiful. Welcome to Old Port. This is kind of the gateway in between uh, the islands here in Montreal and Old Town. So it's got its very Coney Island, oceanfront, riverfront vibe. It's got lots of vendors, lots to see, paddle boats, Ferris wheels, all kinds of activities for the whole fam. <laughs> Let's go on the Ferris wheel. In Le Grand Rue. So, the giant wheel, the big wheel, which is the big giant Ferris wheel in Montreal. This gets you 360 views of the whole city. And the doors just closed, and we got the whole world to ourselves. Perfect. We're paying it in with an individual ticket, which is about 22 USD, or you can pay, I think it's about $150 for your own one. So, we just basically saved 100 bucks. Very excited to get our own giant, leather, wonderful view of the city. We are at the top. I've reached the top! And we're stopped. And we're stopped, right at the top. Oh, you can feel it moving a lot. Really, 360 views of the city. You have one side of the river on the left, and then you have the city on your right and you can overlook all of it and give you a wide perspective of Montreal before you hit another day or do the rest of your trip. The view the second time is even better than the first because now that you've kind of gotten used to it and got your bearings, you can really appreciate what you see. So like right beyond the way is the cool clock tower and the clock tower beach, which is right on the lake side. So it's not ocean side beach, but it's a beautiful beach with like umbrellas and chairs and everything. It's ready to go. And we're moving. <laughs> I do not want to be paddle boarding right paddle boating right now. It seems way too hot. This is more my speed. We've got the AC. Summer travel is not our favorite form of travel. <laughs> we're all about the Christmas markets and the winter. <laughs> Some jackets and scarves. I I don't prefer the heat. But I do prefer this view. And we just passed the stairs! We are going three times around! Number three! So, one, one, one. Like, so far, what? That's less than $10 per round? That's like, yeah, $6, $7? I'm not doing math on vacation. What am I talking about? Hey, Carl. Hey. Have you ever taken a nap on a Ferris wheel? Because I have. 
<laughs> Actually, I cannot focus because you can feel it rocking a lot more when you lay down. Eek! Go, oh, girl, go! Oh. After the Ferris wheel adventures, we wanted to take advantage of the fantastic options and the currency exchange rate that's currently working in Americans' favor and do a bit more shopping portside before walking back through Old Town once more. You could seriously hang in this area all day. And we almost did. We have so enjoyed our time in Old Town. There are so many very cool neighborhoods you can visit here from Mile End and Chinatown and several, several others. Montreal is quite large, but we have spent so much time down in Old Town because it is just so charming and truly like nowhere else in North America. There's the streets, oh, look, there's a wedding party going down the road. There's a saxophone going on the background. There's giant old cathedrals. There's old everything, cobblestone streets. There's streets filled with flowers and shops and boutiques and croissants everywhere. <laughs> I really, really recommend if you're gonna just spend a day here, just hang out and go full vacation mode in Old Town. One thing we like to see as much as we can every time we travel, but we also appreciate slowing down so that you appreciate what you're traveling to a lot more. So Andrew loves an afternoon nap and pre-bed. Fun fact, this dude takes a nap at like 7 p.m. every day. It's weird. Uh, but when we're traveling, we try to fit in a nap and a little bit of rest time to recharge our batteries, recharge phone camera battery, phone and camera batteries, all the good stuff. So especially during the heat of the afternoon when most Europeans would tend to take a siesta time between like two and five, that is the perfect time to go back and just rest. Don't try to fit it all in because you're not going to enjoy what you're trying to fit in. Take the time and relax. So we are now on our way to the Montreal Botanical Gardens, which is like the second largest garden in the world. It's supposed to be crazy beautiful. We're hoping to catch it right at sunset. They have some really cool installations. Okay, look, I can plan really good vacations. I just can't direct you to the next stop. I know exactly where we're going, but I do not understand how to get there. Literally never. No matter what language, me and this little blue dot, no, no. This is Andrew's job. Here you go. <laughs> this is normally her. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's go that way. Et voila, easy as that. So this is so beautiful. It just, it's right at sunset. There's so many benches. There's so many flowers. And they even have a First Nations garden, which is reflective of the indigenous plants and f flora and fauna that was here before anyone else arrived. With the weeping willows and the lily pads and the sunset and the birds chirping, I could just honestly, I'm moving into this rock. This is my new home. I am one with the pond now. Couldn't be more peaceful. like built-in concrete recliners to just sit and enjoy the flowers. I'm just gonna cozy up here. I've really enjoyed the Montreal Botanical Gardens. Mm -hmm. It definitely lived up to the hype except for one thing. Online, the cover photos you see on everything are these insane huge topiaries. They look like Mother Earth and just various other giant structures. We were really excited to come here, but we were most excited to see that. I have seen like recent TikToks, including these in the video, that apparently are not recently filmed because this turns out to be an exhibit from 2013, almost 10 years ago. They did have a fun exhibition. They were tickling plants. Literally and talking to them. Had music and playing for them. It was about the ways you can tend to and cultivate and nurture different plants in different ways from around the world. It's a traveling exhibition. So even though the topiaries aren't here, it's still totally worth it to come and Absolutely. just spend the afternoon if you have 
if you have an afternoon to stay. Mm -hmm. And if it's hot, come in the later evening, just before the sun goes down, and it's beautiful at sunset. And you know what else it's perfect time for? Food. Finding a bite to eat. Mm -hmm. Allons-y. Allons-y. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, je, magnifique. Je plie bleu. Je m'appelle Claude. Je te plie bleu. <laughs> huh. It's not quite what I'm saying. We found a very cool dinner spot called Galaxy Brasserie where we enjoyed a really juicy cheeseburger and one of the best steak frites dinners of our lives before calling it a night and a wrap on a wonderful weekend spent in Montreal. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more travel tips. We'll see you in the next one in Toronto.